Warning! Do not try or do anything you're about to see, unless I, Professor Sheep, tell you otherwise. I am what you call smart. If I do tell you otherwise, all experiments require adult supervision. Please be safe, and thank you. Hey there, YouTubers! Professor Sheep here. Welcome to another science video, as per the usual. Now, today we are exploring the science of diapers. And don't click off! Okay, if you saw the second half of the title, then you know we're having fun with polymers. So skip to this time, or wherever the time is, and have fun. So for those of you that stuck around and didn't click the number, I thank you, because you add, you add to my watch time. Thank you. So, and also you're interested in diapers, just like I am. So, what's a diaper? Well, basically you wrap around a baby's butt, and they poop and pee, and put all their nasty little feces in a nice little package. When did the diapers first start showing up, though, in the world? Well, 1590s, when the first, like, actual diapers. And then they didn't really come become pop. They really did become popular until 1849, when the invention of the safety pin came around. And so then you could just pin your baby's diaper up instead of using string. And then diapers were like that, reusable diapers, until the invention of the diaper we're exploring today. No, not adult diapers. I just bought adult diapers for some reason. Uh, no. Non-reusable diapers. Disposable diapers. So, your baby uses them and you toss them out. So, it was in 1948 where these first invented, and might I point out why it takes so long? Well, for one thing, they're made of cotton, and they're made of cotton and polyester, and polyester, if you didn't know, is Plastic. And plastic really didn't pop around until, you know, post World War II. So it only made sense. But there's one more chemical, and I mentioned it earlier polymers, specifically water absorbent polymers. Well, what are polymers? Polymers, like almost everything, is um, are molecules. Well, polymers are molecules, yeah. And. Molecules come in all different shapes and sizes. They can be simple and small, like water and sucrose, to complex, like C60, or proteins that make up your body. Now, I'll mention C60 here in a second, but we gotta get the proteins. Proteins are used in the body to do tons of things, and they're just squiggles, basically. One continuous strand of a molecule, kind of like DNA, which... Yeah, which make up DNA, actually. And so they come these long strands, but they all get bunched up. Uh, polymers are the same way, except they're a bunch of little strands that get tied up. Uh, they look like this. Except they're not on a 2D plane, and they're actually 3D in like a ball. But why did I mention C60? And what is C60? Well, C60 is 60 carbon atoms bonded together. It was found in the, in, the, in the 90s. It was discovered in the 90s, I should say. And so the molecule, the, 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 the atoms of carbon are arranged in such a way that they make hexagons. And then these hexagons are then bonded to each other to form a sphere of 60 carbon atoms. And when they were naming them, they called them Buckminster Fullery. And when the chemist says, why'd you name it that? And they're like, well, and then the chemist is like, it's just a soccer ball. Or a football for the rest of the world, but here in America we call it soccer balls. So, sorry. Well, anyways, 
One of the strange properties of this is because one of the strange properties of is the center is hollow. And so you could get a hydrogen atom or two in the center, and then provided they didn't bond to the, the lattice and completely destroy the molecule. But you could get them inside. The same thing applies for uh, water absorbing polymers. Through diffusion, water uh, loosens the molecules up a little bit, but doesn't completely break them apart, so they swell. And thanks to hydrogen bonds, they don't just dissolve because molecules can't dissolve water. So they swell up and you get some fun. So to really put this into perspective, let's play a game. So we're going to play the cup game where one of these cups is going to have a ball in it. We usually want the cups to have a ball in it and we tip them over and we move them around. <clears throat> We'd move them around and use some, we would guess which one of the balls in. But instead, we're going to use a little bit of water. So we're going to pour a little bit of water in here. That's about all you ever need. And oh shoot, I have water on my cookie sheet. That's not good. Not good at all. Uh, there is a warning at the beginning of this video. Uh, basically, for one thing, you shouldn't consume uh, these polymers. And for another thing, uh, when you tear the diapers open to obtain the polymer, uh, it gets everywhere in your eyes, in your throat, in your lungs, and it makes a mess. Just a heads up. So, we have my assistant here. You can't see him because he didn't want to be in the shot. But he is going to point out which one has the water in it. So this one has the water in it. And I'm going to mix it up. Do, 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 you're paying attention, right? Okay. Which one of these has the water in it? This one? Correct! Aren't you just a smart person? Alright. Let's try this again, shall we? That's the water in it. Alright. Have you guessed again? Which one has the water in it? Good job! Aren't you just a little bit of a professional at this, aren't you? Alright. So this one has the water in it, right? So we're gonna mix them up again. Okay. Paying attention. Which one has the water in it? This one? Hmm. No water. Guess you were wrong. And that's how you can have some fun. What happened to the water? None of these have water in them. This one doesn't have water in it. What happened? Let's go to my more visible one. So you have a glass here. And at the bottom you have the polymer that I'm going to show you in a minute that we obtained from two adult diapers. So we're going to take some water, and we're just going to add a little bit of water to the mix. Mix it up, give it a little bit. Oh, there we go. And voila. Isn't that fun? It turns into, and just turned my water, which was a liquid, into a jelly solid. Isn't that just fun? Uh, let's uh, pull a more tangible option here. This I made a few hours ago, before I made this video. And uh, as you can see, it makes a kind of a jelly substance. Uh, the reason why I'm wearing gloves, and the reason why I'm wearing goggles, again, this stuff gets everywhere when you obtain it from the diapers. It just, makes an absolute mess and it's just ick. So you know. So I'm going to now show you how to obtain it from the diaper. We're gonna make sure this is all void of water and gel and everything else. I honestly have a problem doing that. Note so get paper towels. Um, I'm doing the best I can here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's uh, let's cut to when this is clean. 
So I cleaned it, uh, all nice and fit and proper. So let's show you how to obtain this. So you're gonna take your diaper, specifically, you don't have to buy adult diapers, but I just had them for another project. Anyways, we're gonna open the diaper up here. We're gonna turn it inside out. I, I guess it really doesn't matter. I found turning them inside out works the best. Turn it inside out like this. And then you're gonna find where the end of the thick padding is. So there's like this thin padding here, and there's this thicker stuff here. This is the stuff you want. This is where your uh, this is where the polymer is. Sorry about that. I just didn't know what I was gonna say. Anyway, so we're just gonna make a decision here with a knife. So uh, I recommend if you are younger to have a parent do this. Yuck, polymer in my mouth. Yuck, yuck, yuck. I'm just gonna cut this. Now, again, that's one way of doing it. Uh, another way is to take sweetener packets, or to take where your family has the sugar, pour the sugar, I guess don't pour the sugar out. If you're like in an office and you have a small spot for where they have sugar for like, uh, I don't know, coffee and stuff, you can just Pour, some, pour a thin layer of this on top, which you need a lot, which I wouldn't use from obtaining from diapers. I would just go buy it in a science supply store or on Amazon or something. Easy, easy way to do it instead of doing what I'm doing here. But if you don't want to do that and you have a surplus of diapers, so you do you. You're going to cut it just like I did up the center. And then you're going to have... Specifically in these <coughs> adult diapers, jeez, it's getting to me already. A uh, cotton pad that you're going to find where it begins. You're going to tear it out whoop, just like that. You're going to find where it ends. And you're going to pull it out. I do have a goodie sheet here for a reason, and then you can pour all the polymer out, as it gets in my lungs, always fun, just pour all the polymer out, have it set here, my assistant can take care of that, in my mouth, yeah, so you usually do this in dead silence, and I do recommend you use the silence, don't try and talk through it like I am, because I have cotton and polymer in my mouth. Again, don't eat this stuff. Okay. You saw you saw what did the wine glass. You don't want to ingest that stuff. Not not good for you. Not good for you. Uh, don't pour this down the drain either, because these uh, diapers say non flushable, so you don't want to flush these. My sister will take care of this. Cotton uh, mess. All right. So now we have one adult diaper's worth of polymer. So then, what you would take with this is put it in a bag or something. Take to school with you. Play a prank on your chemistry teacher or your friends at lunch. Pour it in their milk. They go get a drink of the milk, and there's no milk. Always, always a treat. And they don't know it because it still looks like there's milk in there. Unless it's chocolate or strawberry, then it'll kind of look a little different. But if it's normal, just white milk, um, they'll be hard for them to. It'll be hard for them to know. But otherwise, you just kind of shimmy it on one end, and you pour it out. But you don't need to see me do that. You know what to do. Uh, do I recommend you prank people? No, because. And if you do, you didn't get this idea from me. You didn't hear it from me. You hear it from the people down the link in the description below. The Spangler Effect. You heard it from them. They gave you the idea. I did not. You just learned the science behind it. So, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, and share new videos every Friday. And good night. Increase to two.
mold. Oh, you're filming this? Well, if you like the chemistry video you just watched and you want more, check the link in the description below. And while you're there, hit subscribe. Three moles next time.